Unit 1. Food. 1. Food and Digestion. In this chapter, you will learn about different types of nutrients present in food, functions of different nutrients, a balanced diet, how digestion takes place in our body, some tips for proper digestion, preparation of food, how to preserve food. All living things need food. Food gives them energy. Food helps them grow. Food also helps them to be healthy. During the day, we eat many kinds of food stuff like rice, wheat, vegetables, fruits and pulses. Some of us also eat meat, eggs and fish. Healthy food contains a variety of substances called nutrients. Nutrients help us grow and be healthy and strong. Nutrients in food Food contains nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals. Food also contains roughage and water. Our body needs food to give us energy to do work. Carbohydrates gives us energy to work. Food like fruits, cereals, vegetables, bread, chocolates, sweets, etc. give us a lot of energy. People who do more physical work need a lot of carbohydrates to give them energy. If we eat very little of these carbohydrates, we feel tired quickly. While too much of them can make us fat. Sugar and starch are two types of carbohydrates. Fats give us more energy than starch or sugar. Foods like oil, nuts and butter contain fat and give us more heat than energy. Fats help to keep our body warm. Our body needs very little fat. Extra fat is stored in the body for future use. Foods that are rich in carbohydrates and fat are called energy giving foods. Activity Find out from your mother or someone else what food items are used to make gulab jamuns. Underline them ghee for frying, sugar, thickened milk, khoya. How many of them are energy foods? When you are young, your body needs food to grow. If you are hurt, the body repairs itself. A grown up or adult also needs food to repair parts of his or her body. Foods that help the body to grow or repair itself are called proteins. Some protein foods come from plants, other comes from animals. Foods like milk, pulses, cheese, egg, paneer, chicken, beans contain proteins. Foods that are rich in protein are called bodybuilding foods. Food that keeps you healthy are vitamins and minerals. Some of them are needed to help you grow.
दे प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम फॉलोइंग इल मेनी विटामिन आर फाउंड इन वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट विटामिन आर स्पॉइल्ड बाई कुकिंग सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू ईट सम रॉ वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट एवरी डे मिनरल्स हेल्प इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बोन्स स्टीज एंड ब्लड कैल्शियम पोटेशियम सोडियम आयोडीन एंड आयरन आर सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मिनरल्स वी गेट विटामिन एंड मिनरल्स फ्रॉम फ्रेश फ्रूट वेजिटेबल्स मीट फिश लीवर एंड मिल्क फूड्स रिच इन विटामिन एंड मिनरल्स Keep us fit and healthy. Vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. When we eat foods like cereals, fresh vegetables, fruits, and salads, not all of it is taken in by the body. Some part of our body has no food value. This part is called roughage. Roughage cannot be digested. Its function is to move waste through the stomach and out of the body. So roughage is very important. During the day we lose some water from our bodies as sweat and urine. Some water is used up in the body itself. We need to drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. Most of the food we eat, especially fruit and vegetables, contain some water. Our body needs water for proper digestion and good health. A balanced diet. The food you eat is called your diet. A balanced diet is one that gives you one enough energy from carbohydrates and a little fat two enough protein from body building and repair three enough vitamins and mineral salts to help you grow properly and keep healthy four enough water and roughage digestion of food the food that we eat is not directly used to provide energy it must first be changed into different simpler food which the body can use the process of breaking down food into simpler substance which the body can use is called the digestion a body makes substances called enzymes which break down the different foods we eat there are many kinds of enzymes each one acts on one kind of food only digestion starts in the mouth while we are chewing our food our teeth grind it into a paste some saliva make the food soft and moist saliva contains an enzyme which works on starchy foods they get changed into simple sugars it is important to chew our food well this gives the saliva in our mouth time to act on the starchy foods we eat our tongue helps to roll the food into the round ball which is easy to swallow it goes down the food pipe into our stomach our stomach is like a muscular bag it contracts or becomes smaller and relax many times this fuses and mixes the food with stomach juices these stomach juices begin to digest the protein in our food from this stomach the food goes into the small intestine This is a long tube where the food is mixed with more digestive juices. Some of these are made in the small intestine. 
one special digestive juice called bile is made in the liver. Bile helps to digest fat. It breaks up big drops of oil into tiny droplets. It is then easier for the enzymes to act on them. The digestion of our food is completed in the small intestine. It is now in the form of simple foods which can be absorbed by the walls of the small intestine. Finally, the food passes into the large intestine. Water and mineral are absorbed here. Some parts of our food cannot be digested. They are stored and later pushed out of the body through the anus. They form the faces we pass when we go to the toilet each day. Some tips for proper digestion. 1. Have your food at fixed hours. 2. Chew your food well before swallowing. 3. Do not overeat. 4. Eat a healthy balanced meal. 5. Clean your mouth well after every meal. 6. Drink plenty of water. Preserving food. Food is valuable. If not preserved, it may begin to spoil. Pests, insects, and rodents, and microbes, bacteria, mold, yeast are the two chief causes of food spoilage. Food will get spoiled if it is not preserved in the proper way. Some foods like nuts and grains can be stored for the long time without spoilage. Some foods like bread and milk must be consumed quickly. The process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time is called preservation. Food can be preserved at home by the following methods. Drying Methi Pudina Coriander Cauliflower Amla and raw mango are some vegetables that are preserved by drying in the sun. Refrigeration Keeping food in the refrigerator keeps the temperature low. This slows down microbial action and prevents the food from spoilage. Salting A lot of salt is added when a pickle is made. Salt acts as a preservative. A substance added to food to make it last long is called a preservative. If the amount of salt in the pickle is less, it can get spoiled early. Adding sugar, jams, jellies, murabbas, and squashes are preserved in sugar. Sugar not only adds taste but also acts as a preservative. Pasteurization In pasteurization, the milk is heated to a high temperature and then quickly cooled. The microbes are not able to withstand the sudden change in the temperature and are destroyed. Roundup Food helps us to grow, gives us energy and keeps us healthy. Foods that are rich in carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving foods. Foods that are rich in proteins are called bodybuilding foods. Vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. The process of breaking down food into simpler substances which the body can use is called the digestion. Cooking makes food soft. 
tasty and easily digestible. The process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time is called preservation.